Hi, welcome to Viva La Máquina. This is Juan. I found this $500 Corolla in Craigslist. So I went over there, did some research, no bad news. We put a battery in it, crank right up, and we brought it to Rancho Cucamonga. You know, the paint was cooked, but, you know, we can do that. The badges fell off. Apparently, the heat was tremendous. Some rust on the roof. And also, the frames were pretty bad shape. The lenses for the turning signals fell off on both sides. Apparently, because of the heat. But that's minor stuff. We started sanding, getting all the bad spots. We didn't go all the way to the metal like we should have, but I did the best I could. I'm not a painter, so we prepped it, sanded it, that cloth. Well, here it is. It is 1998. Toyota Corolla. It was sitting for a long time. The whole paint got cooked. I picked it up for 500 bucks about three years ago, 2020. I was smart enough to sand it. It was pretty rusted. Put some primer. And let it sit for a couple of years. You know, just to figure out. And here we are. We need to get rid of this thing. So, what we're doing is just painting the main areas. Painting the hood, the roof, and the trunk. We're in the final stages after putting about, I don't know, 50 hours of standing, uh, maybe less, maybe no, I don't know. We're with a 400 grit sanding, and now we are washing it off, trying to get all the grease out. see it there you go 174 822 that's the miles condition is eh, fair it's dirty so I need to clean it up uh, our ceiling here is not looking good we may or may not do something about it he drives okay Uh, bricks and shocks. You cannot be too picky. Uh, we're gonna put in the area where we got uh, plenty of sun. But then that's gonna be it. Oh, yes. Did you know that the typical blue tape, blue quality tape that you got, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, he does a good job in your house, but if you're using solvents to apply your paint is gonna come off while you paint which is not a good idea so now we got ourselves a little bit of extra work we got to remove this tape for the most part this tape's been here for uh two years 2020 right. close to three years so uh we need to figure out how to retake the whole car one of those things you do when you're learning. Sure. 
No problem. Use your finger for the grooves. This one's still pretty rough. You're gonna work on it a little bit more because sanding never ends. So this is the tape. Here's the tape. Expensive tape, about 16 bucks. We need. Let's put it on. Here, here's a tutorial, how to polish a turd. <laughs> yesterday but that was yesterday yeah that was yesterday Some body work left? There is some body work, but no, no. Just for closing my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because if you need a hammer for body work, uh, this late in the game, uh, we're, we have troubles. Yeah, we, we, there's a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a thing with a sealer, but sealer's about $300. Damn. And uh, you lay the sealer down, that seals everything in before you put your paint on. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about reactions. And Correct. That. We were rolling while well, all that wiping looks pretty clean. Darth Vader is ready. applying the first paint which is close to what the real color is supposed to be uh, we are tacking it off and hopefully get anything that got stuck kind of dusting it off very lightly this is uh, about 10 minutes after we applied this base coat which is just acting as a sealer because we didn't seal 
their uh, primer. This is a project on a budget, so this paint came from another project. I'm doing is trying to uniform your body work. We'll touch up some of those. I just want to spray it in. And all you have to do is lightly polish that, and then we'll uh, it'll blend in with the polishing that. Uh, Quicker. And harder. Just lick it. You'll be fine. Lick my stick. Hey, we're PG. Lift up the paper a little bit. What is going on with the lip? On the primer. Clear. On the clear. Ah, nice. Then the fumes are getting done. Is that the point? You're going to have the munchies after that. Looking wet. Is going to match. Taking the bugs out and a piece of tape. We're hitching a ride. Look at this, I can see your image. That's the worst part of this paint job. Oh well. That's my handy um, body work. You can still see it, but see hey. Little, see the little bugs? Oh, look at this. These got bugs. Last coat.
done and it's looking awesome look at this shine we didn't paint the bottom but uh, i call that pretty good after 24 years this is a 1998 and this car hasn't even been washed so if i polish the bottom a little bit will be even better we got one or two little buggies here but uh we'll take care of them i think that's i don't know if you can see that on the camera but considering that this is done in a barn we're doing pretty good here we are the day after well still shiny and uh yeah, there's some scars over there. I guess uh, I wasn't too professional when applying the primer. I never painted a car, so. Well, we got a professional trying to mitigate most of the problems. There's some shady thing here. Well, I'll tell you what, from 20 feet away, it looks fantastic. All shiny. Let's uncover it. So I was told I'm supposed to pull away from the paint. So if the paint is up, I need to pull down. Hopefully it will come off. sandpaper to kind of soften the edge between the painted and non-painted because we have to use a lot of clear This is exactly what you're not supposed to do. Put the paint right here. Oh, well. <laughs> so you got to kind of, you know wake it up a little bit it should be able to come up if you pull it to the front here we go all right it needs encouragement let's have some encouragement kind of be gentle about it but firm you know like training a doggy or something you got to be firm Come on. It's been here for 24 years. And Toyota likes to seal things pretty good so they last long. That's why Toyotas last for so long. Okay, it's moving. There we go. to thread them through this got like a channel and it goes through it's very rare that you can find the blades now people got a little lazy and now they rather pay a lot of money for the whole arm Seems to fit. All right. Listo. Now comes the trunk. Not a whole lot of mess. Got to take this out. Vacuum it. 
put it back in. That's all we'll do. All right. So we got a donut. We got some tools. I'm assuming the jack comes over here. Oh, there's another jack. Hmm. Interesting. Not too bad. I'll have some shampoo tomorrow. Uh, so you can see everything is in good shape. This was owned by two two old ladies. For real. Not the little old lady from Pasadena. But two real old ladies. Apparently uh, this car spent most of his life in Tennessee. And here it is. And the grand total is four dollars and ten cents retrieved from the carpet and the cushions of the Toyota. Yes, and we finally finished the third. Yes, even have shiny new wheels. It came with new wheels. And the trunk, well, it's clean. It looks decent. The back seat looks clean. I use an extractor with shampoo. And the same thing for the front on the carpets. Came out pretty good, I guess. The lock on the wheels. Nope, couldn't get it. Back to Craigslist. I asked 2200 and finally got about uh, 2000 So, the numbers. We got 2000 for it. We wasted about 1200 bucks. We made less than 800 was it worth it? I don't know. You comment on it. I think uh, we had a lot of good times. So, viva la máquina. Adios.